Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Destiny 2 Final Shape Transcendent Seal title. This video is going to act as your central hub for everything you need to know for this particular seal. This is something I'm going to do a little bit different from my prior uploads. In the past, what I used to do was say, hey, this is everything you have to do all in one video. But some of those things ended up not being right, or some of those things changed later on. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to talk about the most prominent stuff for the seal title that is guaranteed. And then if there's any location stuff or anything else, I'm going to be linking those videos in the comment as well as the description of this video. So this, like I said, will be a central hub where you come here to this video and I can link you to everything else that you need to know in order to complete the certain tasks you're looking for. But there will be some stuff that I talk about purely in this video because it doesn't require another upload, so I will be talking about those first. Beginning with the Pale Heart Pathfinder achievement, this one is to find all of the items from the Pale Heart for your collections badge. Starting off, we have the First Knife Exotic Ship. This one is unlockable from destroying all of the paracausal geometries which are hidden around the entirety of the Pale Heart. I will be talking about these in a later section of this particular video, so we'll get to that soon. Victorious Oddment. This emblem is unlockable from completing the Legendary Campaign. The Wander On Emblem. This emblem is obtainable from healing the Traveler by doing Micah 10's quest line you'll have to go through find all the different ghosts that you need and once you find every single ghost and progress Micah 10's quest line to the last and final step that she's looking for she will give you one last telemetry quest that eventually leads to you getting this particular emblem the reaching within shader a lot of you are probably wondering hmm where is this why can i not find it it's not listed on any triumphs well i want to tell you this somehow and i don't know how it is bugged and is not currently available, but it will be available probably around the time that this guide goes out or maybe later, I'm not sure yet. This one is supposed to be unlockable from the ghost rank up reputation in the Lost City in the Pale Heart. This is actually bugged and the item that you get from completing that now is the Scintillant Trajectory, which actually is the Neomuna badge shader from last year's rank up. So I'm not sure what happened there, but Reaching Within is supposed to be unlockable from the Ghost rank up reputation. So if you rank up your Ghost rank all the way to the necessary requirement, then you will be able to get this once this bug is fixed. You do not have any other way to get this Reaching Within shader, so it's just going to be another thing we have to wait for. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is all of the first ascent items. These first ascent items are your armor set for the pale heart. We've got the helmet, the gloves, the chest plate, the boots, and the class item. All of these items are available from Micah 10 quest lines, but I'm going to tell you each and every one that you can get these items from right now. The helmet is unlockable from the visitation quest line. The gloves are from the shadows quest line. The chest plate is from the veiled quest line. The boots are from the return, and the class item is from the ascendant. You need to complete a lot of Micah 10 quest to get to this point, but once you complete each and every one of these Micah 10 quests that I have mentioned here, you will be able to get these items. You just need to make sure you do the right one. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to mention is actually tied with what I was talking about before. All of the weapons that you need to get for the Pale Heart are also all tied to Micah 10 stuff, except for two. There are two items that you get throughout the campaign of Final Shape, the No Hesitation Auto Rifle and the Call Hand Cannon. Those are the only two that you get from the campaign, but the rest of these are progressively unlocked from completing the Micah 10 stuff. You've got the False Idols, the Pro Memoria, Bold Endings, Axial Lacuna, Someday and the Embraced Identity. All of these items are available from the Micah 10 quest line that you progress over time. It also helps you unlock the Sist missions, which you need to do for other things that I'll talk about later. Also included in this seal badge, we have the Still Hunt Exotic Rifle, which you get from the Wild Card Exotic Mission. You get the Microcosm, also unlockable from later Micah 10 quests. And you've got the Kvastov 7G02 Legend legendary and the Kvastov 7G0X exotic. That is everything that you need from the Pale Heart Pathfinder badge. All of the exotics that I mentioned in this particular video are going to be linked down below in my comments section as well as in my description. I have a guide on how to get everything that I mentioned that is relating to an exotic 
in this particular badge. So if you see anything here that you need, like Microcosm, for example, I have a full quest guide on that and even a full guide on Kvostov. Now moving on from the Pale Heart Pathfinder badge, let's talk about the next thing. Lighting the future. This one is to complete the final mission against the Witness after the teams of Guardians have beaten the raid. You do not have to beat the raid yourself for this particular badge, but this mission did not unlock until the raid was completed for the first time across the world. So to fully receive this triumph after you completed the campaign and the wildcard exotic mission, and you'll be allowed to go into a 12 player activity called Excision, where you can officially end the campaign and get your triumph. Just keep in mind, once you complete the activity, you have to then return back to the ghost in the Lost City, otherwise you will not unlock this. I made the same mistake at first and I was like, wait, what the hell's happening? Why did this not happen? Go back to the ghost. He'll have some more dialogue for you and then it will unlock there. The next one is inseparable. This is to reset your ghost vendor rank in the Pale Heart. To gain reputation for the vendor rank itself, you have to complete activities across the Pale Heart, as well as you can earn some from completing the Pathfinder challenges within the Pale Heart's directory. The quickest and easiest method to get reputation for the Pale Heart is to complete Pathfinder objectives and complete Overthrow at the same time that you're doing this. Now this also leads into the next thing which I'm gonna talk about, which is the Pale Heart Pathfinder. This is to claim path completion rewards from the Pale Heart Pathfinder. The way the Pathfinder system works is you can see what challenges are available for you to complete and you can essentially choose whatever you want in your own progression tree by completing the tasks that are given to you. The tasks that you can see on this particular path are found here. Every single one of these are going to be the case for each and every time that you do the Pathfinder system. They will not change after resetting them. They are all set in stone and they will not change. But you do have to complete a path multiple times in order to fully complete this Pathfinder Triumph. At the current moment, I have no idea what this is, but I'm to a step where I have to do it seven times and I'm still only in the second of four sections. So you gotta do this a lot of different times. But the good news is they have some pretty easy tasks that you can do. Just figure out what's easier for you to get done. Keep on doing them over and over and over again while doing some other activities in the Pale Heart and ranking up your reputation with Ghost and you should be all set. The next one is Synchronicity. This is to collect all of the prismatic aspects, fragments, and abilities on a single character. There are 36 total that you can obtain by doing the campaign and other activities across the Final Shape DLC. There are 13 prismatic fragments that are not available unless you do secret stuff across the pale heart so out of these 36 the rest of those 36 you can get just from doing the campaign alone you do not have to do legendary you can do the normal campaign and you will come out with at least like 20 different things but the 13 that you don't have I'm going to show you here in this particular guide so start as HD throw a b-roll footage of all of the prismatic fragments on screen
And there you go. That's all of the prismatic stuff. The remainder of those are earnable from doing the campaign, like I said, but those particular 13 that I just showed you on screen, those are the ones that you have to do specific stuff for. And I put text on the screen to help you out as best as I could. The next triumph for this seal is called Blessed. This is to acquire all brilliant and pale travelers blessings once. There are 25 total, and it may seem like you have to go out and grind out a lot to get these, but it's actually very simple. You can get these from doing absolutely anything in the Pale Heart, even opening a simple chest in patrol. Until you get them all, there's only 25 of them, and they do repeat, but you have to get each and every one of them once. And each of those ones unlock until you have them all, and then they start giving you random ones. So you can just open as many chests as you want, do as many activities, overthrow, searching up stuff, whatever you want to do, do it, and you'll eventually get all of these just by just going around and doing what you want. You can also get these from prismatic chests, so if you're doing the prior step, you probably are going to get a few of these just from doing that. The next triumph is called Going Fast. This is to complete each cyst in under four minutes. The cysts you have to complete for this triumph are all explained here. The cysts you have to complete for this particular triumph are the Sword Dance, Moth Infested Caverns, Slayer, Searing Light, Aerial Ace, and Smothering Darkness. So basically how you can get to all of these cyst missions is you have to complete a quest line for Micah 10. Once you complete the initial campaign of Final Shape, you're going to be directed down into the Vanguard table section of the Lost City where you're going to be able to talk to Micah 10 through a conduit station. She is going to task you with a ton of different stuff ranging from doing overthrow, finding lost ghosts, and eventually the further you get into this, you'll see that you're unlocking cyst missions which allow you to do these special trials. You basically have to go through this entire quest line as many times as you can in order to get the six cyst missions unlocked. There will be a certain point where you are tracking how many cyst missions you have left to unlock. For me, I actually got to a step where it's like, ah, oh, you're at five out of six. You got one more left. So you do another overthrow and then it throws you into that last cyst mission. Also, another thing I know a lot of you are probably going to have a problem with a lot of you are probably going to be like, well, it's telling me that I can do this cyst mission, but I can't figure out how to access this one. Well, there are two cyst missions in each of the main areas. There's two in the landing, there's two in the blooming, and there's two in the impasse. The only way that you can switch these to whatever one you want is just outside of the areas that you need to go to that lead to those cyst missions there will be a hawk outside of those areas. And you can actually interact with this hawk and it will say, switch this to this particular cyst mission. And that is exactly what you can do. And it will change the inside hawk that is going to lead you around to whatever mission you're on to whatever one you want. The next triumph is called Flock Together. This is to collect all feathers of light in the pale heart. At the time that I am making this guide video, there's only 49 out of 55 that are currently available. I have also noticed that there are six of them in total, one in each of the cyst missions. But the problem with that is they don't track for the initial triumph. So I'm kind of wondering if that bug too. But I'm going to include a link down below in this video that leads to my official checklist guide for all of the feather locations. I have all 49 of them already up on my channel on a video, so rather than just waste all of your time with this, click that link down below in the description or in the comment and it will take you straight to that feather location guide. The next thing that you're going to need to do for this particular seal title is something called paracausal geometries. You have to destroy all of the paracausal geometries that are hidden within the pale heart. Chances are going through your campaign or wherever you are in the pale heart, you've seen these little blocks that are floating around. One's blue, one's orange, and sometimes you see them pretty close to each other. Well, this is actually how you're supposed to solve them. You have to go through and complete Micah 10 quest lines as many times as you can to keep activating something called paranormal activity. So once you complete one overthrow Micah 10 quest, you're going to unlock a paranormal activity somewhere across the pale heart. On that map, you wanna mark that, and when you go there, you'll see a little ghost flying around the area, and it'll kind of give you a circular pattern of where you need to stand in order to get this started. You'll see like a little light commune bubble that you have to go stand in, and once you activate that, you're going to see nearby that area, both the blue and the orange blocks. 
So what you want to do is take a light weapon and shoot the blue one, and then take a darkness weapon and shoot the orange one, and it will tether them together through you, thus destroying both. Those only count as one each though. So you do not destroy both and have it count for two. You destroy both and it counts for one. So there are, there are 11 of these paracausal geometry sections hidden across the entirety of the pale heart, meaning that you need to destroy 11 of them and complete 11 Micah 10 overthrow quests. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh my God, why would Bungie do that? And I'm sitting here like, you know, I don't mind, but I know a lot of other people do. So I'm sorry to break that news to you guys, but here is every paracausal geometry location that you guys are going to need to find all of these for the guide.
And that is everything for this particular video. Everything that I did not mention, I will link down below in the pinned comment and the description. There are two secret triumphs that we have no idea what they are yet. I'm going to wait until the first official reset with the new episode Echoes release. And then after that, if they're still not out, I'm just going to release this guide and I'll update this later on. But like I said, this is your central hub video talking about everything you need to know in the links on the description or in my pinned comment. So please, if there's anything that you need to know about, I will have them here and I will have something up for you, hopefully to help. Go wherever you need to go to find all the stuff you need and that'll be that. But that's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped out at least somebody. And please let me know in some of my other videos that I've linked to this video. Let me know if that helped you as well because I am very hard at work here trying to do my best to make all of these good and helpful for you guys. That's all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped. I'll have another video guide coming out soon around the time that episode one Echoes releases because we got a lot of stuff to talk about with that particular episode as well and all the new activities that'll be unlockable. So that's all for now. See you next time.